Hi, I'm Michaela from Roar TV, and this is a project called Igniting Hope. This is basically how God brings hope to people. When we think about hope, I feel like we first have to address why people lose hope in the first place. So I was looking through a few scriptures, and this one stood out to me. Did I ask you for a son, my Lord? She said. Didn't I tell you not to raise my hopes? This is 2 Kings 4.28. The story kind of goes like this. There was a woman and she couldn't get pregnant. The prophet Elijah told her that she was going to with the power of God. She does get pregnant, has the baby, and then it dies later that day. She was so distraught, but decided to seek God through the prophet Elijah anyways. She climbed up this huge mountain, spoke with Elijah, and they went back to her home. Then Elijah brought the baby back to life. My conclusion here is hope dies when we were let down the first time. We often receive good things and get let down, but we shouldn't stay where we are. We should continue to pursue God in order to restore hope and receive good things, just like the woman did with Elijah. Hope is connected to faith. You need to have faith that God will bring your second miracle. But then that leads to another question. How does one have faith? To put it simply, it's trust. And trust is a firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of something or someone. In this case, it's God. And belief comes with experience. And if we have one bad experience with God, you'll believe that God is bad, therefore you won't pursue Him. And if you don't pursue God, like the woman did with Elijah, your second miracle won't come. You won't receive good things. Psalm 37, 5. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. If you desire hope and pursue God, it will be given. But how do we find enough hope to pursue God in the first place? In order to have hope, there must be a leap. As the saying goes, you never know if you don't try. And that's igniting hope.